Now that we've activated this warp portal, we can easily just warp between Animal Village and this warp portal just outside of Mave Village. This makes navigating Koholan Island significantly faster. So we want to head on over and get Marin and... Oh no, Marin is missing! Marin? She likes to go stare at the ocean all by herself. Why? Hey, I'm just a kid, don't ask me. So Marin is over at the ocean at the south southwest portion of Koholan Island. So we have to follow along this path for what seems like the fifth or sixth time already in this video walkthrough. Uh, you should be familiar with these same jumps, same octorak, same sea urchins. And we were actually just following along on this path in the previous video, actually. Anywho, you'll come to the screen with this monkey. Just head one screen to the right and one screen down where you will find Marin just hanging out in this very romantic scene by the water. Oh, Link, I'm glad you found this place. Will you stay and talk to me for a while? I wonder where these coconut trees come from. Karen says there is nothing beyond the sea, but I believe there must be something over there. When I discovered you, Link, my heart skipped a beat. I thought this person has come to give us a message. If I was a seagull, I would fly as far as I could. I would fly to faraway places and sing for many people. If I wish to the windfish, I wonder if my dream will come true. Hey, are you listening? Link, are you listening to me? I want to know everything about you. Err, ah, ha 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 ha. Huh? The walrus wants me to go to him? It doesn't matter. I will go with you to him. You got Marin. Is this your big chance? And it plays this epic music as Marin now follows you. Now with Marin by your side, there is several new photographs we can actually take. The rat mouse photographer will take uh, pictures of you only if you are in specific areas. One of which is at the southwest corner of Koholid Island. It's on the upper ledge and it's in an area that we really never need to go to. Um, except for taking the picture on this screen, on the west side of the screen. So, so climb the steps, head left, and then head back down. And just walk over to the edge and the photographer will take this fancy picture of Link and Marin. This is my first walk with you, Link. This cliff will be our secret place. Aren't you going to say anything? And I'm not sure who exactly says this quote in the next quote, because the photographer is around, and I can't imagine Princess Zelda going and developing the picture. Um, you don't actually see the picture here, but I'm going to just flash it in so you can see. This is from another part of the uh, of the video. I captured it and then I just edited and put it in there. But there is another picture we can take only when Link is with Marin and it's a couple screens north so travel back to May Village and this is actually the same place where we got the first heart piece. Just slash at this bush and jump into this well and Link will fall down and Marin will come tumbling down right on top of Link. Hi I'm the photographer. What a great photo moment. I'll call this heads up. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you okay, Link? And I'll flash and show you what the photograph looks like. You don't actually see it at this point, but that's that. There's one more photograph we can take, and it's just north of Marin's house by the rooster statue. Just walk on over, and Link and Marin will walk to the rooster statue, and they'll be joined by, oh, our Mario friend, Taryn. Hey Marin and Link, are you taking pictures? You should take pictures of everyone, including me. I used to take pictures. Are you ready? Say, mushroom. Okay, I'm done. I'll go home now. 
and we can see the picture if we went to the photo uh, the camera shop we don't actually see it right then and there but oh well and it's another reference to Taryn his love for mushrooms hmm Considering he looks like Mario, I guess that seems to make sense. Anyway, go through the warp portal and Marin will follow you through the warp portal and you'll appear back at Animal Village. So now let's go and talk to that walrus that was blocking your path at the south part of Animal Village. Just slash through the bushes and head east and Marin will talk to our good friend the walrus. Yes, it's that lazy walrus. Shall we give him a little surprise? Ah ha ha ha! Wow, he certainly woke with a start! Huh? Oh, he's calling me! It's the same as always! Link, I'm going to the animal village! Please drop by, okay? Now with the walrus out of the way, we can head east to the Yarna Desert. Yay, finally! We can head north a couple screens and there's a couple more of these levers that we fought oh so long ago at the Tornado Shores. Head north and you'll face a mini boss of sorts. Annoyance, you are only getting in the way. And this here is a land molest. It's the same enemy that was in the original Legend of Zelda, and it was a boss in A Link to the Past. It will come up from the ground, and you'll see where it's coming up from, and then it'll dash at you. Just slash at its head, you can use the spin attack, and it's not too difficult. After a couple hits, it will be defeated, and you will get the Angler Key as your reward. You'll fall through the sand to get to the floor below, and if you use your sword and tap against the wall at the north, you'll find that there's a secret here. So use your bombs to explode a hole in the wall and head north to get another piece of heart. That's pretty much all there is to do in this cave. This piece of heart's another one of those random ones where it's like, who the heck would randomly think to slash against the wall? Anyway, exit the cave and speak with the owl statue here to get another interesting message. Sea bears foam. Sleep bears dreams, both end in the same way. Crash! Sea bears foam? Hmm, does that have to do with maybe the waves that Link arrived at the island and he crashed? S the dreams though, sleep bears dreams, that ends in a crash as well, dream ending in a crash? We'll make some more sense of this later on. If you head south along the right side here, you'll come to a little stone rock. You can pick up the rock and you'll get the 17th secret seashell. You'll also notice there's a new enemy in this area and these are in the form of Pokey. These are actually more classic Super Mario Brothers enemies. I believe they first made their debut in Super Mario Brothers 2 I want to say. You can just slash at their head and they'll eventually break into parts and you can defeat them. Defeat the levers here and then head south and you'll meet with the owl again. Hoot! The shape of the key shows a fish, swimming up a cascade of water. Go now to the mountain waterfall, a leap from the top and you will reach your goal. Alright, so we know our next destination is north at the mountain and we have to jump down to reach our destination. Before doing that, we can now do another rather huge side quest that's only in the DX version of the game and it is in the form of the color dungeon so that's going to be our next quick pit stop so to speak before taking on the next dungeon so we want to head back over to the warp portal in animal village to get back to the warp portal closer to may village and that's going to conclude this section join me for the next section and we will continue our quest through chapter four